pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And you'll notice the, if you've seen the agenda, we're not uh, going with times right now. We're going to give this a give this a try. See how it see how it works. So, but we're always going to start out with the illustrious Dan Sigler, former Adam County mean guy. Mean guy. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. First thing for you guys is we, uh, we being myself and Mr. Amber, attended a mediation on this lore lawsuit, which was held in Fort Wayne with a court-appointed mediator. And we signed a conditional mediated settlement agreement, which is sub means it's subject to this board's approval. Uh, and so uh, I presented, I am presenting it to you today for approval. Uh, what basically what occurred in the mediation is the, the plaintiffs, the lawyers came with their lawyer. We had a joint session, and then we went back and forth with a negotiation. And this was conducted under court order. Uh, the lawyers are nice people. I just bring you up to speed again um, because you guys have having begun service at different times with varying degrees of knowledge about this. But back in January 2008, there was a really bad flood. Chiribusco, the rap drain backed up. Their basement flooded, sustained lots of damage. Uh, they ultimately, they got some FEMA money for the flood, but ultimately they had bigger losses than that. So they, they sued Chiribusco and us. Chiribusco knocked, got knocked out of it because basically they didn't have any responsibility over the rap drain. The rap drain was blocked in a spot, we later found out, but that was post-flood. So that's always been the issue in this lawsuit that's been pending for about four years, is we didn't know about their flooding problems, we didn't know about the rap ditches relationship to those flooding problems, and so that's why we always said there was no liability. They were asking for, I don't know, like $400,000 in damages. So I'm not going to go through all that, but we ultimately ended in this conditional settlement of $10,000. Uh, that is what, in, in the in the legal business, that's known as a cost of defense settlement, not just attorney fees, but depositions, expert reports, and all kinds of things that need to be done if we go to trial in this case. That's at, at least <coughs> how much we would spend, and so that's what we told. We initially told them we would only offer five, and the mediator kind of, I wouldn't say he strongly armed us down, but he kind of went back and forth and, and said, suggested that 10 was a number. So we agreed to that. The but agreement keep in that, mind, they started at 400,000. Right, no, so. right, right. So anyway, so we're, I'm recommending to you to accept this for settlement, but you don't have to, and if you say no, then there is no agreement. We, we're still in the loss. I think it could be. I mean, we have over two million dollars in drain maintenance. Is it because yeah, the money was have to be money in that out of the, right the drain wrap drain? Yeah, it'll have to be out of that uh, watershed ditch. Out of that watershed, and I, they wouldn't have ten thousand dollars in that. I can tell you that. Okay. Well. Um, we ch Don checked on the, um, what was that, was that fund? Legal, we had a fund called Legal Services. $75,000. $75,000. But, but yes. that's what we've been play paying our uh, deductible yeah, out of, right? Right. So we don't have that much money right. in there. Right. So that's one, I mean, so that's an issue. I mean, I think it's a good settlement if we have it, because uh, it's going to cost you more out of your pockets in the long run. I think we'll probably win the lawsuit, but that's no guarantee. You know, we could get a forty or fifty thousand dollar judgment against us on top of our costs. So, so that's the reason that uh, I, I think it's probably a good settlement. But does this you're... set any precedence at all if, if we do settle this? 
No, I think each case is, is, is on its own, and because it's a cost of litigation, these people aren't getting back. I mean, this money is basically going to their cost, uh, and so um, I don't feel that it is. I don't know if you have any thoughts. I, I, I just don't. I just, I don't understand. It was a very interesting, well, any time you spend three hours with Dan Sigler in a room about that size, it's always interesting. <laughs> The, the process was very interesting and quite frankly sad. It really, it really was. And I, 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 I told Dan in private, I'm going to tell him in public, I love the way he started. And, 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 and that was, because you do meet as a group, okay, to begin with. Then you split. You each have your own rooms. And then the, the mediator goes back and forth. But, but he started out by saying, you know, the lures are good people. They're, they're fine people. There was nothing personal in any of this. They're, they're good, fine folks who had a real problem. They did. They had a real, they had a real problem. And, um, and I, I thought that was a nice start. But I, where I thought it was sad was here's a, 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 a people who give you this, for lack of better terminology, it's a bad terminology, but laundry list of things they want that totals to $400,000. And after three hours, they, if, if, if you give us $10,000, we'll be happy. Well, I don't know. If, I, don't, I, I don't know, but I don't even know if they pay their attorney fees. I mean, it's just. Here, here's my concern on the whole thing, though, is okay. if, if we were to have a 50-year flood, okay, and farmers lose hundreds of acres of, of farmland or crop, doesn't that leave us open as a county that if we if we haven't kept up with the, maybe a certain drain or some drains that we as a county are going to have to pay for any damages? Well, I, I mean, first of all, I think that's a good con that's a legitimate concern. The answer to that is no. I think we have. I think the county has immunity in this case. This case, we can't agree to the settlement because of where we are postured legally in this case and this case only. I move for summary judgment based on the immunities. The court did not grant it. Then the court let out, and we have a special judge, it's not a local judge here, but uh, Judge Lauer let out Cherubusco. So all of a sudden now we've got the only target on our back. So this is an expedient settlement in this case only. Yeah, the county has more miles of drainage tiles and ditches than they do roadways. And um, that's been our position in the case all along. We certainly can go out there and litigate it, but we're going to spend more than this to litigate it, not to mention the risk. So, yes and no. You, you see our insurance companies settle cases for us individually and as a county all the time for these reasons that we never see. And they're never precedent. Each case stands on its own. So I'm not concerned about that. But I wouldn't tell you that somebody wouldn't come in here five years from now and say, hey, you paid $10,000 of the lawyers five years ago. Why aren't you paying us? I mean, I can see that happening. You know you hear that kind of stuff anyway. So at that point, do those people sue us for $400,000 <coughs> and we, we settle for another $10,000? You know, right. I, I know I understand what you're saying, right. but it just, it just. I, I don't have, you know, I don't care. I mean, I, I mean, I do. I mean, I want to close files, but if you guys want to say no, that's, that's fine with me. This is the best we were going to do to get it settled here. If that's not good enough, that's okay. Then we'll go on and keep litigating. But, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but, but what you said is right. If we want this to go away, this is the amount we're going to have to pay. Right. right. So your, your decision, our decision has to be, do we want this to go away? Or do we want to take it to court? Now, in all the hours we had to spend together, uh, obviously we talked about, well, about what will it cost us just to take it to court? And and best guess was more than this. But, but you know, I, in my heart of hearts, we're right and we're innocent. Okay? We really are. That's I, my frustration. We, we're still I understand that. No, nope, I'm with you. And we're still well, yeah, welcome. welcome. Welcome to the legal system. But, but after what Judge Lauer know. did to us, Lauer, sorry, what Judge Lauer did to us, we should have been, we should have clearly been thrown out of this thing. 
We really should have. But for some reason or another, he didn't see it that way, but he saw fit to throw Chair Musco out of it. It's just completely backwards to me. So, so again, you, you had given me, and I'm not sure if you guys remember this, but you had given me the authority to spend $5,000 last Friday. And, and we, tried for, we, we tried for less than that. And then we tried for that. And, and finally, they, they come back with, with $10,000. So, uh, but yes, we can, we can fight it. We absolutely can. It, it's, it's, I'm it's, not saying we need to fight it, but that, it's, no, it's but, my but, frustration. But it's an option. That's, it is, yeah, that's, that's, that's your only option, that's actually. That's an understandable frustration. I wouldn't even mm -hmm. try to dissuade you from that, George. Couple quick questions. Yeah. Are they still? Are they currently living in the house? No, the house. They've lost the house to foreclosure a long time ago. But they are suing for the damage they experienced for before before the foreclosure. They lost a lot of personal property. They have temporary living expenses, some of which was paid by FEMA, some of which was not. So the house is still there. Has the problem yeah. been eliminated? Yeah. The ditch. As far as as it's far as we know, Brandon would have more information about that, but uh, it has been, I think, resold by the bank, and I believe it's occupied. It is not. It is not occupied. It, it is sold. We confirmed that, but my wife and I drove by it then that night, and there's no one in the home. It's okay. a, it's just sitting there. I'm sure they're still in process of fixing it up. Is know. this in a floodplain? Um, I don't think so. I don't, th no, I don't think so. Is, if not, why is it? Well, I, I, I don't know. I, I can't explain that. If they go ahead and buy a house in a floodplain, they're assuming that there might be a flood, right? Right. Right, and it's up to them to have flood insurance, but the lender should not lend them money if it's in a floodplain without a prescribed flood insurance on the property. I know that much. But I, I, I cannot imagine it's, it is in a flood flight. It does sit in a low area in the street, but... It, Interestingly enough, the two homes, there's a home to the left and a home to the right, and they're all about the same level, and I don't know that they flooded back then. What is, well, what is beside this house is, a, oh, is they, a, um, they sandbag all three of the homes, and maybe they didn't get the sandbags up in time. I don't know. But I know there was sandbagging that took place a couple times at 2008 and prior. The reason we lost a summary judgment with the judge was that Churubusco, the town, filed an affidavit. They admitted that the county did not get told until nine days after the flood about the problem. However, Somebody in the, in the city said, well, I think we told the county about this in 2004. And that literally, that's really what was said. And on that, that, that thin reason, the judge kept the case against it. So do I agree with it? No, but that's the situation we were in. So We had no insurance protection against anything like this. Is that true? Yeah, right. We don't have insurance for, for flooding, no. With their homeowners policy have anything for No, there, there'd be an exclusion for floods unless they had the rider for floods or a special policy for floods and they obviously did not. And most homeowners don't have that because it's expensive, but those that are in a floodplain have to have it. And True. So it's just a bad situation. All right, so what we pay the ten thousand dollars on it? I suppose legal fees. I don't know what else. I don't know. I, I I couldn't come up right away. I couldn't come up with a place to 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 find the money, but I'm sure we will. So. You want me to check on the fund and wrap and see if there's any way? See what legally we can pay them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I don't want to take it out of legal fees if it's not then we get. So well, it could legitimately it could legitimately come out of legal fees if you have sufficient money in there because that's what it is. It's a legal proceeding, so you can, I mean, I think you can say that. Okay. 
we take it out of the um, drain maintenance for the particular drain since it wasn't maintained with the funds? Well, I'm, my motion way. will be I, I, to yeah. take it out of legal fees, and if that's not possible, I come okay. back to okay. us, and there's okay. no hurry with the check. Okay, the by, by legal fees, are you, are you referring to as legal services in the commissioner's budget? Because that's, that's what I called back to her, and there's only $3,000 in that, $3,400, something like that, in left in that fund for this year. So that's just Did you, you make this agreement? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's a sick. Oh, yeah, I guess there is. <laughs> it's contingent. The agreement was contingent, right, <coughs> attorney? It is contingent. It is contingent. Conditional. I don't know. Conditional. I'm sorry. We can run it out of legal fees so we know where it's at and then right. move the money at the end of the year. Yeah, that's good because we can shuffle through here. Okay. So, so. We'll go ahead with your motion of taking it out of legal services. Do I hear second? I'll second it. Any discussion? All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, the same. Is that an abstention? Thank you, George. Two to one. That's good. That's about your first maybe. George. Proud of you. Hitting both sides of the pot there. Uh, thanks, George. Yeah, I know it's frustrating. It's we don't know it. <laughs> the taxpayers are going to have to pay ten thousand dollars. They shouldn't have to pay. I, it, it is frustrating. I don't disagree. Yeah. All right. The other way it could cost us. Yeah. I mean, you, you pay me now or pay me later, kind of thing is where you're at. And okay. That, so. All right. So uh, next, uh, I was asked to review communications contract with Cassidian who uh, and this is for uh, Scott Jones 